to another fun episode of Sighting of the Day where we take a wildlife sighting we've had on tour or safari and we share it with everyone so you can feel like you were part of the action. Now today's episode for me is quite special because we have two species interacting with each other and both of these animals are arguably some of my favorite to see out in the wild. The first animal is the white rhinoceros or the white rhino. Some people like to refer to them as the square-lipped or grass-eating rhino. This rhino was famously saved from extinction in the Gilwe Umfalozi Park, and so it has a very unique connotation to the area. The second species in the sighting video is a African wild dog, or a pack of African wild dogs rather. Now a lot of people actually confuse wild dogs with hyenas. Uh, we'll show you the difference now. They're actually quite different. In fact, from a genetic point of view, uh, there is some evidence that hyenas actually diverge from a similar ancestral line as felines, as the cat. Now, African wild dogs are one of the most endangered large predators in Africa. Uh, South Africa holds a population of probably around five to six hundred wild dogs, so I wouldn't say they're particularly common. Wild dogs were unfortunately heavily reduced in their numbers during the 20th century as they were mistakenly seen as a pest or vermin uh, by early settlers as well as some early conservationists who saw them as livestock or game destroyers. And today their public image has changed somewhat. They've actually become one of the top animals to find on safari. So it just goes to show what we could be wrong about right now and the fact that we are looking at certain species maybe in a negative light. Maybe we should not be thinking along the lines of whether or not we like them, whether or not they are pretty, but rather the role or function they perform in the ecosystem. So wild dogs has had a 180 degree turnaround at least in the public image and uh, as I said today they are one of the most sought after species we want to find on game, game drives. So let's get back to the sighting. We have a wonderful interaction here where we had some African wild dogs resting after their morning hunting session in an open clearing in a field and we had a very large bull white rhino and not take too much of a liking to them resting within his grazing patch. So he decided to chase them up and have a little bit of fun with them. Let's have a look. Well, some things to take from the sighting was the fact that the wild dogs never really threatened the rhino, uh, at least not to the point of trying to hunt him. He's way too big. The other thing to note was the fact that the rhino was pretty agile, bouncing around and moving quite athletically, despite being such a large animal, which often comes to the surprise of many people when they see them move. Wild dogs generally feed on small to, to medium sized antelope, things like nyalas and impalas. They just wanted to catch a bit of an afternoon rest when they were disrupted by this rhino bull asserting his dominance. Now both of these animals are still under threat today in the wild. Rhinos are still being poached for their horns and wild dogs suffer from a limited and fragmented habitat which means that they're not able to spread their genetic diversity as easily. Not to worry, there's a lot of conservation effort going into looking after and protecting these species so we can conserve them for future generations as well as hoping that you will be able to see them on your next safari with us. But until then, we urge everybody to stay safe and goodbye. <laughs>